Apparently, this is a modernized take on the classic CK-1. So let's review Calvin Klein CK-1 Essence. Hey, what's good guys? Hunter here and welcome back to the channel where I upload a weekly fragrance contest. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future videos and be sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. But today we are reviewing the newest fragrance from Calvin Klein that just recently came out. And I can see some people actually being excited about because of the love of the classic CK1, which honestly, I've never really gotten around to knowing it, wearing it, etc. but it does have a huge following behind it. And I guess this is supposed to be a modernized take on that scent profile, at least from what Calvin Klein is claiming. And to be honest, I never really get too excited about new Calvin Klein fragrances just because I kind of look at them as like a rack store brand, to be honest. They do, of course, have fantastic fragrances within their collection. I just really can't get over that kind of image I have in my head. I do know CK1 Reflections from last year was actually a banger that I never got around to reviewing, but I probably should because it's actually great. We'll find out if this is actually a solid release from Calvin Klein, but I do want to shout out Calvin Klein for sending this over for review, of course. That's not going to change my opinions on this fragrance at all. If I enjoy it, I do. And if I don't, I don't. I'm going to tell you guys that. But let's go over some information. Now, this was, of course, launched in 2024. It just recently came out at the time of this recording. For the retail price, on the two sizes you can get this in, the 50 ml is going to run you $68, or you get the 100 ml like I have in hand for $86. But as we know, guys, a lot of these will probably be hitting discount and rack stores very, very soon. Concentration did surprise me because this is actually an extract de parfum, which is the highest of perfume oils used in fragrances. So shout out to Calvin Klein for actually making this an extract because typically they would usually make these like eau de toilette. So that is actually a good thing they upped the concentration. The perfumer is basically the king of freshies. Alberto Marias himself is the nose behind CK1S and so at least they do have a master perfumer behind making this one. So we'll see if he actually did a good job or not. With all the information out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with CK1 Essence now. So take a look at the box. It's your typical CK1 box in this silver kind of metallic finish, which actually looks good. Perfume intense 100 ml. On the bottom, you have your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product to see when it was produced. On this back, just some information, and then on the sides, just some like uh, vegan formula, etc. Then Calvin Klein on top. Let's look at the bottle now. All right, take a look at the bottle. It is this very reflective metallic silver finish, which I think looks fantastic. One of the better looking CK1 bottles, in my opinion. Of course, CK1 Essence Calvin Klein. On the bottom, you will have, I think that might be engraved or a sticker with your information as well. Nothing on the back, and this is a screw-on cap with no actually cap on top, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is what it is. So that is the bottle presentation. In the top, you have bergamot, white tea, blood orange, and black pepper. In the mid, you have green tea, mint, and geranium. And in the base, you have musk, moss, incense, and sandalwood, and this will be classified as a fresh citrus. So let's spray this and test out these atomizers. Honestly, nothing spectacular with the atomizer. It's not pressed dry, so don't expect it to be. But let's go ahead and remind myself of the brand new CK1 Essence. Immediately what you're gonna be greeted with when you spray this is this ultra fresh, kind of crisp, sparkling bergamot note and overdose of that bergamot, which makes it very uplifting. But you are also gonna get this fruity, kind of sweet blood orange note, which is also dominant along with the bergamot. Those are the two primary notes going on immediately when you spray it. I'm not getting any spices from the black pepper or anything along those lines. Just an overdose of burst of freshness right away. So I'm honestly not sure if it's similar to the original CK1 in the opening because like I said, I'm not the most familiar with that classic. But I will say the opening is pretty good for what it is, even though it could be somewhat generic. Once you make your way into the mid is where it starts to change for the better because you are gonna get this very green herbaceous tea note that makes it extremely relaxing and comforting. I'm a sucker for a good tea fragrance and I have to admit, it's done pretty good in here. You also are gonna get this very kind of uplifting minty note as well that goes hand in hand with that tea. And it definitely is more so of that herbaceous green tea. And for me guys, I drink a ton of green tea. It's one of my favorite drinks, especially when you're sick, just drink some green tea and you'll fall a ton better. And this kind of does the same exact thing. It puts you into this kind of a relaxed zen mood and just uplifts your mood in general. So whenever you're in a bad mood, spray this on and it's gonna put a smile on your face just from that tea note alone. 
ground. Finally making our way into the base, it's really just gonna be left with this clean white musk. And Calvin Klein actually says this is an upcycle musk. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I know upcycle means like recycled uh, ingredients, etc. But I don't know how can you get recycled musk, but that's besides the point, guys. You are also gonna get this very clean, slightly creamy sandwich. There is a little bit of creaminess making our way into the base, which makes it a little bit different. But all in all, it's just a clean sandalwood that doesn't really go in that salt dusty direction. It doesn't go in that pickly direction, which is great for me. Because honestly, anytime I see sandalwood listed, especially when it's the only wood listed in a fragrance i kind of uh get disappointed because i hate when sandalwood turns pickly like in Santal 33 or even louis vuitton lovers thankfully in here though it's more so of a clean creamy sandalwood I'm also not getting any earthiness no smokiness from either the moss or incense it's primarily a clean white musk and this clean creamy sandalwood which i think is the best direction they could have went for when it comes to this whole scent profile being ultra fresh citrusy in the top dries down green herbaceous with that tea and then you're just left with a clean base i will say it is somewhat generic but for all my tea lovers out there this is going to be something you want to check out and it did surprise me especially coming from a calvin klein i could see this actually being a banger especially at rack stores like we can go to like burlington tj maxx marshall's and find this for around that 20 or so dollar mark, I think it's absolutely worth that. But for me, it's not a scent profile that blows me away and I think is retail worthy. But for the best seasons to wear CK1 Essence, if you do decide to get a bottle, it's primarily gonna be the spring and summer, which is kind of odd because we're currently in the fall time going into winter soon. So this is a weird time to launch this sort of fragrance because it's definitely more suiting for the spring and summer when it's hot outside. This is absolutely not something I would ever reach for during the winter time by any means. For occasions, this is a very casual suited fragrance without a doubt. It's nothing formal or classy or sophisticated smelling about it. This is literally something you spray on the smell clean, you're running errands, going to the gym, maybe having a tea party if that's something you do. It just sort of gives me a vibe of somebody wearing a t-shirt and shorts. So very casual setting fragrance. Which come to think of it, I can't think of one single formal Calvin Klein fragrance, at least in my collection. Every single one of them is extremely casual smelling. For gender, I believe this is targeted as unisex. I know like the original CK1 was more so of a masculine smelling fragrance, but Calvin Klein's kind of going in this direction as targeting all their fragrances as unisex from what I can tell. And even on their website, they say CK1 essence for everybody. And I can kind of stand behind that. It is a very unisex smelling fragrance. It's nothing very feminine or nothing very masculine smelling about this whatsoever. It's pretty much anybody that enjoys fresh, clean, tea-based fragrances, you'll absolutely love this one, rather if you're a man or a woman. So I think it is a pretty perfect unisex fragrance at the end of the day. And when it comes to age groups, I think this is a very youthful leaning fragrance as well. The kind of fragrance that I could picture a late teens, early 20s, going into a rack store, etc., picking up something like this and enjoying it. Just nothing extremely mature about this, but if you are somebody a little bit older, maybe like 30s and up, you could still obviously pick this up and rock it. But just me, when I smell this, very casual, very youthful, just somebody I picture, be in their early 20s wearing this one the best. I know a lot of you guys hate when I categorize fragrances with age groups, but like I always try to tell you, I'm always trying to paint you guys a picture every time I'm reviewing a particular fragrance on who I imagine wearing it the best. So take what I say with a grain of salt when I categorize these things, but it's my review and I'm telling you guys what I picture with each fragrance and that's exactly what I picture, a very casual, youthful smelling fragrance. Every fragrance out there, anybody can wear any fragrance at any age, it doesn't really matter. But of course, there's some fragrances that lean youthful, some fragrances that smell very mature, etc. So just wanted to rant about that for a moment there. After the review off, talking on the performance you should expect with this one, and like I said earlier, this is a parfum intense or an extract to parfum concentration. So you're gonna expect something that performs better than like an eau de toilette, eau de parfum, etc. But for me guys, honestly, anytime I see an extract to parfum, I expect a lot from it. I'm talking at least 12 hours of longevity. And unfortunately, you're not going to get that with this. The best I got from my personal testing on skin, at least, is going to be around that six hour mark of longevity, which is somewhat better than most Calvin Klein's. And especially for a set profile like this, it's hard to have a clean citrus tea based fragrance that does perform up to that 12 hour mark. So can't blame Calvin Klein too much, but I do have high expectations with a concentration like that. And same goes with the projection. This is a very intimate projector, especially 
actually the first couple hours as well. It's not a fragrance that's gonna scream off your skin. It's not something that everybody's gonna smell around you unless you absolutely overspray the heck out of it. It's just more so of a second skin smelling fragrance where you just smell clean, you smell fresh, you smell good, and you just really can't go wrong with it. And you're not gonna pretty much give everyone around you a headache or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that either. This is kind of the fragrance made for maybe an introvert that doesn't like attention but they wanna smell good, they wanna smell clean. Nobody's really gonna approach you and say, wow, you smell good, or you smell like something I've never smelled before, what is that, etc. Heck, some people might not even notice you're wearing a fragrance while you're wearing this, to be honest. Around six hour mark of longevity and an intimate kind of projecting scent bubble fragrance, which is below average from my testing, but still not so, so bad, like some Calvin Klein's where you get less than four hours, which is why I think this would be a great fragrance once it starts hitting rack stores around that 20 or so dollar mark, I think it's worth Worth picking up at that so that's gonna do it for my review of the brand new calvin klein ck1 essence let me know down below if any of you guys have gotten your nose on this new one yet and if you have experience with the original how do they compare in your guys's opinion because i'm kind of curious about that if this is actually the same as the original just more modernized which if that is the case that's a very smart move on calvin klein's part even though if they would have did that they should have just named it like ck1 eau de parfum or ck1 parfum but might actually be a little bit different just kind of in that same realm but that's gonna do it for my review guys as always leave a like on the video subscribe below if you haven't already and of course i'll see all of you back here in my next upload take care everybody